Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you all for the get well messages. Um, I'm recovering well, still got a long way to go, but um, hopefully I should be back in a few, uh, I think a month or so, and start making more videos and finally finish my project. Um, there's been a lot of questions, people have been asking about things, so I thought I'd make a video and just answer a few of those questions. Um, you can see in front of you, it's my current project and um, I put, I use my 3D printer and I've made a little bit of a case here. I am terrible with a 3D printer, especially when I can't even sit up for too long. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all right. It's um, just a prototype case for now, um, just to hide the electronics at the front. Um, and um, yeah, the actual back of it, it's not finished yet, but I will be hopefully doing that soon. So the first question um, people have been asking is, did you make the prism? Um, if you check out my channel, there are videos showing you how to make the prism. And yes, I did make the prism myself. Um, you can purchase prisms like this um, but that didn't work as well um, and they're quite expensive and very heavy so what I did was just use a bit of acrylic five millimeters to no sorry 0.5 millimeters to 0.3 millimeters piece of acrylic um, and it's very easy very simple if you look at my other videos you will see how to make one of these all it is is the screen um, sits opposite the mirror and you just place a 45 degree angled piece of acrylic in the center and that's it and you see a holographic graphic image right where the 30, 45 degree angled acrylic sits so it is very easy to make um, nothing difficult Use a bit of hot glue to stick it all up together and it works as a charm. Obviously, the better quality of acrylic you use, the density of it, you'll get a better um, result. As also, the, the type of glass you use is also important for the mirror. I'm using acrylic mirror and just chopping it up the right size. It's good, but if you get if you're able to use glass, sorry, a glass mirror instead of acrylic mirror, then you probably get a better result. Um, next question was, can you see it in daylight? So, um, yeah, that is a bit of a, tr a tricky one. Um, with I'm a bit lucky with the ones I've made. Um, and when you use a bit thicker and a better acrylic, you do get better results. Um, and in the daytime, daylight, the sun hits it, it is very difficult to see. Um, if you put a bit of a tint, piece of tint film on the front of it, like here, then when you look through it, it will be much better. Um, but my use is more indoors um, and I haven't been able to go outdoors yet to rectify those kind of issues. But overall, it does work well. Um, people have said oh there's issues with I can't see it in daylight just have a look at the way you've made it maybe the distance between the screen and the mirror the reflection isn't is too weak or the actual screen itself hasn't got enough backlight you need a lot of backlight in the screen to be able to actually get anything out of it okay what components do I need um, well I've gone through this in another video but um, I'll do a quick um, list of the components you need. Uh, the first thing you need is a microcontroller to be able to run the whole thing. Um, I'm using an Arduino, either a Nano, as you can see here, or uh, an Arduino Pro Mini. They both do the same job, um, pretty good. Uh, you just have to make sure that you're using the right voltages. If you're using, if all your components are three volt, then you need a and a nano or or something like that which has a three volt output um, if you're using five volt 
some pro minis you can get these are actual clones you can get which um, have a 5 volt or a 3 volt um, all of these can be purchased from Aliexpress I will be putting some things in the description um, then what you need is um, an, a screen so you need an OLED screen which I am using um, this is one of the cheap ones um, you can pick up for about three pounds um, again the the good thing about Arduino is that there's lots of date com um, libraries out there that you can use um, so so do these, these cheap screens there's plenty of libraries out there you can use um, the reason why I don't use this one you can see it's quite big I'm actually using a much smaller screen 0.49 inch screen which allows my device to be much smaller and again the links will be in the description um, what I've done in this this version is I've actually it comes on a board which I've actually lost on this version so you just literally clip it in the board and I've just um, I leave the screen hanging up like that so that was why I can get it quite thin and the board is literally underneath here so that's the screen once you've got those two connected then you've got this front bit create your prism and that's about it um, yeah I've made this case using my 3d printer I'm not, I'm not very good with the 3d printer at the moment you know I'm laying down most of the time I can't really get a chance to make anything but you know um, it's okay it's still a prototype um, and it's just covering those components at the front keeping it all together I still got to do the back bit which I'll do it in due course okay so once you've got that you need connectivity to your phone which is going to be this Bluetooth module here um, it's a standard Bluetooth module you can get for Arduino. Um, make sure you check the voltage that is either a 3 or a 5, or in this case, this one can be both. Uh, I need a 3 volt because um, my Arduino Nano is 3 volt, screen is 3 volt, and the Bluetooth module here is 3 volt. So once you've got that connected, um, this is not really a component, but it's just a little bit of a board which does the uh, kind of it's just two two lines of power and ground. Um, it just keeps everything tidy. Then what you need is a lithium battery charger, so you can plug in your charger in here, and um, then it basically allows the device to run off this charger unit also what this does it charges what you what else you will need which is the battery here so this is connected to a switch so you can turn it on and off and then that gets charged by this and also this can run this device as well so that's the components you need uh, to make one of these um, next question is people have been asking is do I have a diagram um, Yes, I do. Um, it's if you have a look, uh, it's a bit fuzzy. Here we go. It's pretty simple, really. Um, you have the screen, which then the clear, clear acrylic sits in between, and then the mirror. So pretty much that's all you need to do to make that prism. So hopefully that helps. And another question I get asked a lot is, will it work with a Raspberry Pi? right no is the answer technically yes but no technically if you this device itself has its own video controller then it can connect to the raspberry pi and the raspberry pi can provide data back and forth from it however if you look at the screen if you want to connect your raspberry pi to this how are you going to do that you don't have a controller that converts these pins into a HDMI signal and it needs to also handle you know refresh rates and so forth so this alone no it can't what we need to do is to find a microcontroller or a video controller 
which then will connect to this and then have a HDMI output to your Raspberry Pi. So next question people have asked me and the final question is, okay, so how does it work with Bluetooth and what can I do with it? How does it work with Bluetooth is essentially you've got to create your own program on the Arduino. You create a program which you take the standard Bluetooth code library and what I do is essentially send data from here to my phone and on your phone you need to create your own application. This application needs to be to handle certain tasks. So what I do is I set, say, uh, this Bluetooth will send certain signals back, certain data back to the phone and the phone will have an app which understands those signals. For example, I might send a zero or a one meaning, you know, you know, show text or um, something like that. This will pick it up from the phone. Um, the phone might send um, some text as data. Your application needs to understand it. So you have to create the communication between the phone and your device. It's up to, entirely up to you what you want to do with it. I basically haven't built that yet. I've done a kind of an experimental thing. There are apps, applications online on Android store that do basic communications that you can send certain information like characters or text. And then what you can do as a test is your Arduino would then read, once it receives it from the Bluetooth, it reads it and then does something with it. Maybe displays it on the, on the screen or something like that. All right, guys, hope that's helped you guys. Um, any questions, leave a comment. Um, keep subscribing if you haven't subscribed. Um, and hopefully you'll see a final product very soon. Um, you can see it's uh, it's getting there. It really is getting there. It's quite long at the moment. Um, I will have it about here in terms of length. Um, and then this bit will probably be shortened and made into a little thin battery holder like the the Google Glasses has and then I can start working on the actual application Android application um, I will be blogging as well um, I'll leave the blog uh, details in the description as well so hopefully guys if you know send me what you're doing you know I will be responding to any kind of message you guys leave so like and comment um, I'm here for the community. I would like to see people build their own stuff. <clears throat> if you want any more questions and things answered, just give me a shout. See ya.